So on today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Jellyfin media server on your Windows PC. Now Jellyfin is really awesome because it gives you pretty much all the features that you get with something like Plex and also some additional features as well without having to pay anything. Now this software is available on multiple platforms, whether it's Windows, Apple Mac, or Linux, but today I'm going to show you how to get this installed and set up on Windows. And so if you go to the site at jellyfin.org, you go here to download now, and then they have all these different versions. So this one is Linux, but I'm going to go to Windows and here you could go to Windows official, go to downloads. And then here you're going to see a variety of different options. So just go ahead and download the latest one, which is this exe file at the top. These are current stable builds. So we'll go ahead and download that. And uh, once that's downloaded, all we have to do is go to that folder that we downloaded in, and there is the exe file. So once we're here, it's really simple. Just go ahead and double click on it and go ahead and install it and agree to the terms. And in this case, I would just choose the basic install um, and if you wanted to do this service, you can, but I would just do this one right here. And then just go ahead and go through the steps and install Jellyfin. Really easy to do. All right, now that Jellyfin is set up, you see a Jellyfin server icon here on the left. And we could just go ahead and close this. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start Jellyfin up for the first time and get things set up. So if you were to just double click on this, uh, you would think that things would open, but what it's actually doing is actually starting the Jellyfin server. You still need to open this up. And so if you don't see anything pop up like what I have here, you're gonna go down here to the bottom right on your icons, and then you see the Jellyfin icons down here and you can right click on your mouse and then go to open Jellyfin. So once you do that, it's gonna open this up through a browser and this is where we have the setup. And so we'll go ahead and go through this. I'm gonna go ahead and choose English as my preferred language. And then uh, in this case, it's gonna ask for a username. So you could just put whatever you want as your username and password. And then we'll go next. And here is the important part. You need to add a media library. So basically the folder where all your media is stored. So in this case, I do have movies. And this is important for the content type because this will determine the type of metadata that's actually downloaded. So at least for me, I'm gonna be using this for movies at first. And so the name is gonna be movies on display names. And then for preferred download language, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose English for this. And you could choose whatever language is native for you. And I'll go ahead and choose the country here as well. And uh, here, uh, there are other things you could do. You could choose preferred embedded titles over file names. I would just leave that unchecked. I would leave this enable re real time monitoring checks. And then these, I just leave these alone. And uh, this one, I also leave alone. So all of these here. But the one thing that's important that I highly recommend you choose is this right here, save artwork into media folders. It'll make things a lot easier because it's already downloaded. And I would also choose these as well. So whatever you are scrubbing through your movies, you'll be able to see like images as well uh, through your scans and image extraction. So I will leave those there. And then uh, we'll go ahead and look for the folder. I didn't look for the folder here. So we'll go back up here. Here's this plus sign. I missed this one completely, but we'll go ahead and look for the folder. And let me see if I could find it. Oh, I think it's on here. I have a shared folder here. So there is my folder. Say okay. All right. So we say okay. And this time it should work. There it is. And this will take a while for things to populate, but we'll go ahead and move forward. And we'll go forward again. And in this case, you can set up remote connections, but I don't want to do that. I just want this to be available locally on your network and on this machine. So we'll go next. And that's it. We're done with the initial setup. And now you could go ahead and log in. This is with your admin account, which is the first one that you set up. So we'll go ahead and sign in. 
and this might take a while for everything to populate. Okay, so all the metadata has been downloaded and as you can see, things look pretty awesome because all those movie and show database websites already downloaded all the cover images for you. And most importantly, it's also downloaded a lot of additional information and this looks really, really awesome. So now that you've set up your server, how about accessing this through a Jellyfin client? So this is gonna be pretty important because obviously if you are just watching this on your local machine where you have this installed, that's gonna work just fine. But what if you wanted to install this through a Jellyfin client app? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a user. So then you could kind of see how this works. So I'm gonna go here and go to my dashboard and then I'm gonna go ahead and create a uh, new user here. Go to here to users and we'll just create a new user just so that you could see the difference. So I'm just gonna name this one and really easy. I'm gonna enable access to all libraries and save. So this is just a standard user and there's many other different things you could do with this. And the reason I wanna do this is I wanna show you how to access this uh, through a different client, okay? So this is important. So this is how you're accessing it right now, okay? This is actually a address that goes to your server. And so let me show you how this works here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in Notepad so then you could kind of see how things look like. So this is by default where you actually log in, okay? So this is localhost and then it has this two colons and then 8096. So this is the port, very important, 8096. But what if you wanted to access this, you know, on your local network? So in that case, you really can't put local host here. You need the actual IP address of this machine that you have the media server uh, running on. And so how do you actually get your IP on your network? So there are a number of ways that you could do this. And so I think for the easiest way for most people is you would go here to your settings and then go here to network and internet. And then if you go here to ethernet, you'll be able to see your IP address, which is this right here, okay? Or you could do another way, you could go to the command line, just type in a CMD. And then once you do that, just type in IP config and it will show your settings here. There it is. And if you wanted more information, uh, you could also do IP config and then uh, forward slash all, and it shows even more information. But the main thing that I want is the IP address. And so we're gonna go ahead and open up a client and then try to access it through an IP address. All right, so the next step is to actually download a Jellyfin client. So this is similar to downloading an app. This is gonna be for your computer, but if you are on an Android or Apple device, you can download this Jellyfin client as an app through their stores. But if you go here to the main website, go back to download now, and then go here to clients. And in this case, you do have a number of different options, but what we want is the Jellyfin meter player. You go here to GitHub downloads, and then you'll be able to find the version that's right for your computer. So in this case, I have this Jellyfin meter player for Windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this. Okay, so that's been downloaded. And also I do recommend another download as well. So if you go back here, go to all, there is this thing called Jellyfin MPV Shim. And so this allows you additional options for your server, uh, specifically the ability for cross-platform client cast and also transcoding options. So if you go here to GitHub downloads, uh, I would go ahead and uh, download this one as well. We'll go ahead and download this. Okay, so now we have both the client and also the MPV Shim. So we'll go ahead and install both of these. And we'll install this client first. Okay, so it's already been installed, but you're gonna need to restart your computer. I'm not gonna do that yet uh, because I also want to install that shim file as well. So we'll go ahead and install this. We'll install this, agree. Accept the agreement and we'll just go through this. And I'm not gonna create a desktop shortcut for this. 
So we'll go ahead and install it. Okay. So everything's uh, been installed and all I have to do now is actually uh, restart my machine. And then we'll go ahead and access this through the Jellyfin media player or client. Okay, so once your computer has been restarted, we could now access this using the Jellyfin media player or client. So we'll go ahead and open this. And the first thing you see is select server. So this is where that whole IP address is important. So as I showed you a little bit earlier, you could get your IP address here. And then you're going to put the actual port number right after it. So it needs to look something like this. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to go ahead and go back to my media player and add a server and you go ahead and put in the IP address. Now you don't have to put this HTTP as far as I can understand. You could put the IP address and the port, but I'm going to leave it like that. Let's see if this works. Great. All you have to do now is just log in. So I'm logging in with that new user that I created earlier and we'll sign in and bam, there it is. So once you have this, you could go ahead and play your movies and everything works as it should. And this works the same if you are using a Jellyfin app on Android, Apple, or you have this as a client like this, a media player on other devices, maybe other laptops or other computers in your home network. So that is all it takes to actually first install Jellyfin and the initial setup to get your server working uh, plus getting your media player working. This is really an awesome uh, server piece of software and just a really amazing way for you to actually have your own Netflix or local streaming service at home. And if you were to set up remote access, then you truly do have a streaming service for yourself. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave in the comments area below and I'll see you on another episode. Hey geeks, if you are a brand new creator and you simply want something easy to get you started, well, I got something for you with my creator starter kit. This is a super simple step-by-step -step guide that's gonna take you from having no channel to developing your very first YouTube channel along with ideas, thumbnail designs, and other creator tips, including marketing. And the best part is all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on my page and get started creating.